Royal Border Bridge here, 28 span masonry art structure, it's nearly 200 year old now. Over time the masonry does degrade. We see things like hairline fractures, hairline cracks, um, drummy brickwork, things falling from it. The last intervention we did on this was 1993 roughly, so about 30 years ago and over those 30 years it's degraded further. So what we're doing now is safeguarding that capability by general brickwork repairs throughout. That'll last us approximately another 30 years and what that'll do is reduce the risk to the public and to the functioning railway above. Traditionally on interventions like this what we do is we'd scaffold out the whole structure. Um, and that can obviously take quite a long time in itself. What we've done cleverly here is we've um, utilised roped access working from cradles and, and gantries under slung from the structure and that saved us uh, programme cost. We wanted to look at ways we could uh, innovate and work smarter and, and safer while still providing efficient uh, results. We erected the, uh, the mobile um, tower system up of one of the piers of Royal Border Bridge. That's then connected to a modular walkway which we're installing across the, the top of the arches. And that's used as a, um, an anchor point for the cradles. So the operator can take, um, take the tools up there, their equipment, and work from the cradles uh, while accessing safe via the walkway. With some of the repairs we get to, we can be with them in five, ten minutes, what would take a day for a scaffold to get to. And with the type of repairs on here, there's some which are very small repairs. A mixer of masonry repairs, brickwork repairs and work to the metal on the structure as well. If you have to put all the scaffolding up, it becomes very time consuming just to get there. It makes it a lot more efficient rather than having to scaffold in and move in and out of it. We can have sail into the cradles fairly quick and get out. Also gives us more ability to move the cradles around. Using the rope access gives us the ability to kind of get into areas which are difficult to use with the scaffolding. There's some areas which are difficult for the cradle to get to and that's only made possible by using rope access to get the cradles into their positions to work off. So traditionally for a structure like this we would scaffold the whole thing out uh, which would take about six months and this project was priced at about nine million pounds to do that. By using the roped access we've saved that programme time and it's resulted in a cost saving of roughly five million pounds. 